Dear students, a very sweet and warm welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss assignment 2 solutions of non-conventional energy resources course under NPTEL. So the second assignment has arrived on the portal and the last date of submission is 12th of February 2020. So without consuming much time, we are just moving towards the first question of the second assignment. Before starting the assignment, there is a note that more than one answer may be right for certain questions. So you have to keep in mind that. Now the first question is, GDP of various nations is very closely related to the. For this question, question number one, option A that is energy consumption is most correct answer. Now moving towards the second question, what are cleaner sources of energy? For this questions, all options that is solar, wind, geothermal and ocean thermal energy, all options are correct for this question. For second question, all options are correct. Now moving towards the third question, renewable energy sources are. For third question, option A is correct that is biomass. Now moving towards the fourth question, match the following. For this question, option C is correct. Now moving towards the fifth question, advantages of micro dams over large dams are. For this question, option A and option D is correct. That is less disruptive and infrastructure can be quickly built. Now moving towards the sixth question, it's again the match the following. For this, option B is correct. For question number six, option B is correct. Now moving towards the seventh question, energy tapped from renewable resources can be stored using. For this, option A and option B, that is batteries and fuel cells, both are correct. Now moving towards the eighth question, an electrochemical device consists of an anode, cathode and an electrolyte. An electrolyte can be in the form of a solution. During its typical functioning, when attached to an external circuit with metal wires, electron and ions flow through dash respectively. For this option A is correct, that is external circuit and electrolyte. Now moving towards the ninth question, almost 90% of fuel in the cars is used to. Option B is correct, to transport the car itself. Now moving towards the last question that is the 10th one. Fuel to dash ratio defines how dash a fuel is burnt. For this question, option C that is air and cleanly is the correct answer. Fuel to air ratio defines how cleanly a fuel is burnt. So this was our second assignment in the non-conventional energy resources course. And I'm damn sure that all the answers which I have told you are most correct. So please subscribe the channel so that you can get solutions of each assignment arriving on the portal. Thank you for giving your precious time. Have a nice day and take care.